Hi friends, let's see our next hacker rank problem which is grading students. So the difficulty level of this problem is easy and the max score of this problem is 10. Okay. Now let's see the problem statement. So the problem statement is hacker line university has given the following grading policy for the students. So according to the policy, each student receives a grade in the inclusion of range 0 to 100 and any student which is grade less than 40 is a failing grade. So here Sam is a professor at the university and likes to round off each student's grade according to the rules. So what are the rules? The rules are, suppose if a student grade, that means the difference between the grade and the next multiples of 5 is less than 3. Less than 3 in the sense, here we need to consider only 1 and 2. Okay? So next round of, the round of grade of next multiples of 5. Suppose if the value is less than, that means if the grade is less than 38, then no round off take place. So, it can be better explained in the following example. So, before that, let's see for an example. Suppose if a grade is 84. So, here the actual grade is 84, but the next multiple of 5 with respect to 84 is 85. And here the less, the difference between the 85 and 84 is less than 1. So, here you can take it a round off the value is 85. And here if you consider the grade is 29. If you observe the second rule, if any grade is less than 38, then no round off takes place. So, since the 29 is less than 38, so no round off takes place. So, in this case, the grade is the final result is going to be 29 itself. And here, if you observe the third, third case, here the grade is 57. So, in this case, the next multiple of 5 with respect to 57 is 60. So, the difference between the 60 and the 57 is 3. So, in this case, the first rule violates here. So in this case, the final result, the, the final grade is going to be 57 itself, since the difference is 3. Okay. So now coming to the input format. So this is the corresponding input. So in, if you observe the input format, the first line, that means the first line of the input represents the corresponding number of students and rest represents the corresponding students' grades. Okay. So here this particular example can be better explained here. So here they have given a list of four students and the original grades of these four students are 73, 67, 38 and 33. Now in this case the 73 that means the next multiple of 73 with respect to 5 is 75. So here since the difference between the 75 and the 73 is going to be 2. So the round of value for this particular grade is going to be 75. Similarly if you observe 67 the next multiple of 5 with respect to 67 is 70. So, since the difference between the 70 and 67 is 3, so in this case the final result or final grade is going to be 67 itself. Now, in this case, if you observe the original grade is 38. So, the next multiple of 5 with respect to 38 is 40 and the difference between the 40 and 38 is 2. So, in this case the final grade is going to be 40. And similarly in the fourth case if you observe, if you observe the grade that means the original grade of the student is 33. So in this case the next multiple of 5 with respect to 33 is 35 and even though the 33 is less than 38 so here the final result is going to be 38 itself, 33 itself because here in this case if you observe if any student grade is less than 38 then in that case no round off takes place. So according to this point for this particular one the final grade is going to be 33. Now, let's understand, now let's go, in, let's go ahead deep dive into the problem solution and let's see how we are going to solve it. So, as usual, just take the respect to long ways as JavaScript, okay. Now, let's understand how we are going to solve this one. So, they have given the grades in the form of an array. So, now what I am going to do is, I am taking a resultant array as an empty array. That means, I am declaring an empty array. So, now what I am going to do is, I am iterating throughout the grades array. And I am going to write it, I am going to define my logic according to the sample example. So I am writing for let i is equals to 0, i is less than grades dot length i plus plus. So now the main condition is suppose if, if any student's grade is less than 38. So in this case, Simply you are going, that means you are not going to manipulate or you are not going to round off the grade. We are going to show the final grade is going to be the existing grade. 
So what I'm doing is I'm going to push the exact grade into the resultant array. So grade of I itself. Now I'm going to take the else condition. So else condition which represents supposing the student grade is greater than 38. Greater than and equal to 38. So now what I am going to do here. Suppose if grades of i that means a particular grade plus 1. So I am going to take it in a curly braces. So So plus 1, so which is divided by 5, if it is equals to 0, so then what I am going to do here, if it is equals to 0, then what I am going to do, I am going to simply push resultant array, now, that particular value, i, plus 1. Else if, suppose, I am going to copy paste the same thing, just paste it over here, so here I am going to just uh, change the condition, suppose, if the grades plus 2 is grad, uh, divided by 5 is equals to 0, that means if the next multiple of 5, the corresponding grades value plus 2, with an next multiple of 5 is equal to 0. In that case, what I am going to do? I am going to simply push the corresponding grades of i plus 2 itself. Now I am going for the else case. So the else case is nothing but simply suppose if the value is greater than 5, if the grade value is greater than if the grades value is greater than 5, and if the, the grades value plus 1 or plus 2 is not equals if uh, is not the next multiple of 5. So in that case I am going to simply push the resultant grade itself. So grades dot push grades of i. So now just simply return the resultant array. Okay let's submit the code and check. Okay let's run the code. Yeah it passes the sample test again. Now just submit the code. Yes, it passes all the test cases. Thanks for watching. Thank you.